a disc and give them a cast. There are two types of physiques in this world. Aesthetic and uh, big. Yeah, just plain old big. And you don't have to be one or the other. You can be big and, as and aesthetic. I mean, you've got Arnold, big, aesthetic. You've got me, big, aesthetic. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we, I just would have thrown in the uh, arm footage workout from a couple of days ago. And they're coming along pretty nicely. The pipes. I'm pretty pleased with them. I'd say my arms. I'd say they're probably my best feature in terms of muscle. Yeah, they'd have to be up there. I mean, I'd, when we're all younger, we all train arms quite a lot. So most of us are going to have arms as our best body part. And that's not good. Realistically, that's not good. You should at least have... Something like legs. Imagine if legs were your biggest body part. Yeah. Show me someone with legs as their best body part. Very few. Very few. Especially just around in around the gym. I don't even think I could name one person whose legs were the biggest in the gym. It's a shame. It's a crying shame. But yeah. So we have aesthetics and we have big. Now, for naturals... This aesthetic is kind of the way you have to go. Unless you're some genetic freak and naturally you just put on a load of muscle. Which so there must be some out there. But people that say as soon as someone's big, they can't be natural. You're a bullshitter. You don't know anything, and there are natural people that are just big. They are born it. They were born big. So, you know, there are natural big guys out there. But aesthetics is the one you're going to be leaning towards. And that doesn't mean put on a stringer, do your Z's pose, yeah, and suddenly you're aesthetic. That doesn't mean that at all. That means when you're looking at your body, you want to have nice curves, you want things to tie in together, shoulders tie into the biceps, tie into the triceps, and the forearms and the chest. Everything flows nicely. Uh, but what you want to do with this is not just focus about adding mass to every part of your body. You want to look at bits where it's not flowing as well. So say my chest is a bit shallow, I might want to do more incline. Uh, if my legs don't have the quad sweep or the hamstring sweep, you focus on those areas and that's going to make you more aesthetic. Not just putting on a stringer and being, I don't know, 10% body fat and having, you know, visible abs or little creases. Where you go on the sunbed and you put a little grill on there and get the little suntan lines and suddenly you're disease and everyone's miring you. Bro, I ain't miring you. I don't care if you're wearing a stringer. That doesn't make you big. It doesn't make you look good. So... Aesthetics is definitely there, and it's definitely the one that naturals probably want to lean towards. Uh, do I prefer any of them? No. I, originally, I wanted to be big, big as possible. But for me, that's not, I can't do that. I've got a narrow frame. Big just probably isn't in the question. I'm quite tall as well. Uh, I've never been, you know, a big fat kid. I was, was skinny. So I'm just... I. I just want a bit of mass there, but I'm leaning towards the aesthetics now. So if you don't know, I'm starting my cut. No, I have started my cut. I think I started it just over a week ago. So I've been on the clean diet. I've just cleaned it up and I'm already starting to lose fat. And uh, see lines and veins I haven't seen before, which is always a good sign. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun couple of weeks. Or probably a couple of months. Yeah, I'm I'm doing it slowly, so I'll probably probably finish in about four months. It'll be a four month cut. I'm not going anything too extreme. Just gonna get you know, make sure everything's visible, abs, even quad separation, uh, but nothing crazy like ab veins in the abs or I don't know. No, we'll just see what happens. So that's gonna be fun. I'll put some videos up about that cut. Uh, if anyone's interested, I'll probably show stuff like what I'm eating, 
uh, how I'm going to go about trying to keep my muscle in a cut, which I think I'm doing quite well at at the moment. If anything, I'm getting slightly stronger, which is a good sign. Um, yeah, so I'll be I'll be putting some videos out about cutting and uh, maintaining muscle. I hope to see you guys watching them. Uh, and what do I think about big? Being big is obviously, you get people leaning towards that because they like the freakiness. They like the idea of being uh, you know, intimidating, which, don't get me wrong, I mean, everyone likes to be intimidating. You don't want to be pushed around. But even if you're aesthetic, you're going to be bigger than most people. It's just when you put on a sweatshirt, so say you've got a big sweatshirt like this. Oops. Got the crumbs everywhere. So you've got a big sweatshirt like this. It's just going to cover up your line. So right now you can't really see my traps separating from my shoulders and my delts. Uh, so to the, to the naked eye, you just don't look crazy. But people can still see you lift and you're still bigger than most. Like even at the end of this cut, I'll probably still weigh you know, upwards of 90 kilos, which is quite heavy for the average male. Like the average male is around 70. Yeah, so that's 20 kilos more, which is quite a considerable amount. Um, so, you know, being big you know, isn't... You can still be big and aesthetic. You can still be big and aesthetic. And big doesn't mean, you know, upwards of 110 kilos walking around. Monster, make, you know, having to walk sideways through doors. Do the shuffle, do the penguin waddle. You don't need that. Um... Yeah, but if you want to do that, that's cool. Like, everyone looks up to some of these big, big guys. I mean, even if you want to go aesthetic route, you can still look up to these big Olympia competitors because they're cool and they do their stuff and they work hard. And, and they're just inspirational as well. They're inspirational people. So that's that's kind of my view on big and aesthetics. That's my view on it. I see them as equal. I see them as both very respectable and challenging and uh, you're not aesthetic if you just stick a stringer on bro. Sorry to hear it. Sorry to say it. Hashtag sorry not sorry bro.